What is going on? Welcome to Greggles TV. Got Android 15 on my OnePlus open. I wanted to run through a couple of things that are different just to show you. The first one will be the charging animation, which yippee ki yay 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 Look at that. Tells you how much it's charging, little animation to it. Pretty cool overall. I actually like the way it looks. Next up would be the smoothness and fastness. It's still super smooth and super fast on the animations, you know, nothing. This is crazy. Like it's just always fast and smooth, um, beautifully fast and smooth. One of the most, you know, smooth, fast things you'll get going on here. It's be awesome. Just a great feeling to this. It's way faster than, you know, a Samsung phone in terms of the animations and stuff like that. So they, it's continually improved. Um, you know, do I notice it hugely different? No, because I don't use this on a daily basis, but it definitely feels super fast still. Um, supposedly it's been improved with the animations in terms of like the breaking into the animation while it's doing it. Um, it just feels great. <laughs> Amazing, really. Next up would be flux theme. So we'll check those out. So we're gonna swipe down into here. We'll go into settings. And then if you go into wallpapers and styles, you have this like theme section. They kind of had a theme section before, but it wasn't overly awesome. It's, I, and I still, I'll admit, I won't, I won't say it's overly awesome still. Um, you get themes, you got, and you can just click on these if you want to use them. You can even go to more themes and you can do classic or you can see some cover themes to choose from. If you want to change the look of your phone a little bit here, you can go to a seamless one or you can style these up. So it's really up to you. You can have different ones, it looks like, for each screen in the front or the back. I'm just going to discard that. Go back here. So I have mine. I come in, you just choose your wallpaper that you want. Kind of cool, some cool wallpapers in here. Aerial views. You can tap on this and this will bring you to your photos. If you want to use one of your photos, always on display, you can customize right here. Seamless basically kind of makes seamless transitions between the always on display and lock screen. But there's a lot of stuff in here that you can choose and customize. You can go to display settings and always on display will not be shown during these times or you can have it show all the time. You can have new, notif notif new notifications show or not show. You can have live alerts on your always on display, which I'll show you in just a moment what those are about. You can change your icons and you could do this stuff before. It's not a huge difference. Some of it's just been like updated. You go to custom and you can have it um, adopt your system colors if you like that. So they can match everything and you can put apply and apply and now my apps, whatever ones they are, some of them will match my system as you can see, kind of cool. I still wouldn't say this is as cool as what Samsung gives you with, Samsung basically give, gives you all these controls, but then um, they also give you themes to actually download and buy if you want or download free ones. Going back into settings, if you go back into where we just were, where it says wallpapers and styles, and you go down a little bit and you go to quick settings, you can do split or classic. So when you swipe down, right now I have it set to classic, but if you go to split, it's gonna split it on here. You can see allow quick settings on the lock screen, show tile names, reset the layout. So I can swipe down from here and I get my notifications. I can swipe down from the right and I get my quick toggle. So I don't like that. I, I, I do like what they did here. Samsung needs to do this, where I can swipe down from the bottom here and it will just bring down where I'm swiping down. Samsung, you have to swipe down from the top when you split it. Hopefully they'll copy OnePlus on this, but I do like that even though it's split, I can still swipe down. I don't have to go all the way at the top to do it, uh, to swipe down the, um, the, the panel. So that's really, really helpful. But otherwise I do like it as classic. Classic's just, to me, I'm used to it and I like it. I don't think I can see myself going to the split view, but it does have it, something to know. I did want to mention uh, widgets. And obviously widgets aren't really anything new, but um, reportedly through their, their, their update, they did update their widgets. So if you are interested in, you know, more widgets or more control over your widgets, um, you now have it in this One UI 15 or Android 15 update for OnePlus. Now I did mention live alerts and this is kind of like now bar for Samsung. It's just under notifications and quick panel. And you can come in here and you get live alerts. So 
if you tap in here, basically you can see it shows like a notification at the top and you can tap a capsule to view the card or to open the app. And it only works with music playback, uh, game timer service, game update service, personal hotspot and screen recording. That's it. Uh, it doesn't work with anything else on there. You can, I don't think it shows it in anywhere else status bar. It's just stuff you would normally do. So I'll show you, I'll do a screen record real quick. So in your screen record, you can see it right there at the top and I can just tap it and I can view it. If I had more on here, I could view them. I can swipe it back. I believe it's supposed to stay here on the lock screen too. It might've turned it off because I was doing a screen recording. Yeah, it stopped it, but it will show it on there as well. Some of, like I said, it doesn't have a lot of features to, to, control for live alerts. So I guess it does work with Spotify. So you got Spotify here. I guess I'll do a screen recording as well, just real quick. So I have the two here. I believe you just swipe through if you want to see the other one. So there you go. I can swipe through to see them. Kind of cool. When you swipe too many times, it completely goes away. I guess you swipe the other way and it comes back. Not an expert with this, but that's actually kind of cool. Uh, I can tap this and I can see my music playing. The music should still show up on the lock screen. Let me just see. Did it? Yeah, there it is. Well, I guess it's there. Uh, is it here? I can unlock it. So yeah, kind of cool. It has, again, that's something very similar to now bar. It just doesn't have a lot of functionality and a lot of apps. I can see this becoming way better and, um, just improved a lot more over the next months to years. There's a new, uh, charging limit. So if you want to control your charging limit so that you don't kill your phone, you can turn this on and it now has, it will be kept to 80% while charging. This feature will automatically turn on when your device has been charging for too long. So to delay the battery aging, uh, you can turn that on if you'd like. I keep it off. I usually don't keep my phones long enough to worry about something like that. And for me, it turns into a bit of a hassle. They also have privacy safe. So if you open this up, um, you can set a password and basically hide things, apps, had files and things like that. I'm not really into this, but it allows you to set its own password and um, again, hide things on your phone so other people can't see it without using a password. Other than that, there's no AI things that have been added to it just yet. There's no circle to search or anything like that. Um, there's really no AI things. There's no AI things in the photos or anything like that. So that's gonna come later. It will come, it's just not here now. It's probably months away. I don't think it's a year away. It's gonna be months away before we get that. But otherwise, nice update. It's very fast and fluid. Um, it's a definitely a step in the right direction and it feels great. This phone is amazing still. The OnePlus Open, I would definitely recommend picking up if you want to. Otherwise, just wait a little bit longer to be able to get the OnePlus Open 2, which would be even better than this. But this is a great, great phone if you can get an amazing deal on it. So thanks for watching. Watching. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road. Peace.